This is Stacy. She's our patient in the video today. You want to say hi? Hi, everybody. And Stacy is in a wheelchair because she has cerebral palsy. You want to explain what that is a little yeah. bit? It's, it's where I was two and a half months premature and, and I was in an incubator for three months. And it affects the brain, but not with your ability to think. It's just how that makes your body move, right? Yeah, and it depends on on the what part of the brain gets damaged. But for me, I was lucky. I'm only physically disabled, but some people have everything where they're physically disabled and and mentally disabled. Now. You've, you were the first person to teach me that just because you're in a chair, people treat you like you're stupid. Yes. What is that like? It's very, it's very depressing and it's, it's not, it's not fair. Like I always tell people, don't, don't make fun of me because you could be in a chair in a minute. People act like, some people act like I don't. I don't even exist because I'm in a chair. They don't think I have a brain and I can't think for myself, which is not true. Right, because you do everything we do except walk. Yeah, except physical you, things. You use your email, you graduated high school, yeah. you use your computer every day. Yeah, I talk to people on the phone and I like to go out and interact with people. I don't let this wheelchair stop me. Okay. So you've been coming here, what did we say, probably? 20 years. Yeah. And we've become friends. Stacy yeah. and I go out to dinner every now and then. And uh, chat on the phone. Yeah. So thank you for letting us do the video today. You're my pleasure. Okay. and tip your chair back so I don't have to sit on the floor. Yep. You able to do that? Yep. Okay. So, I mean when to stop. Keep going, keep going. Little bit more. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Good, because it won't let me go back in anymore. <laughs> Any further? Uh, tell me about your nifty new chair. When did you get it? I got it at the at the end of July. So you've had it for a couple months. Yeah. Let's, let's get this off. Whatever this is. Keep it clean. And are you loving it? Well, the, I'm loving it, but the hard thing about it, you see this big control box. It's much bigger than mine. Okay. Than my old one. Okay. See, so it's like a rocker, like like on a kid's rocking horse, and it gets it gets in my way oh. when I go down, so I can't see. It blocks my view when I'm driving. Of the ground in front of you? Yes. Oh. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Well, maybe that's something they can adjust. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm go back on Tuesday and I'm gonna ask them to adjust. Nothing to trim here. We'll get the rest of these. Well, it's good to see you. It's been a while. It's always good to see you guys. Like I, so what happened? The place that you're living, they didn't order. Even after we called them yesterday with the reminder call, they had no transportation schedule for you. Well, no, they had I. I scheduled my own transportation. The company was just running behind, and I didn't have anybody to to bring me at the moment. At the moment that you scheduled it six months ago? Yeah. Oh, so sorry, you have to deal with all that. So what can this chair do that your old one didn't? Well, it can, it can raise up. I don't know if I uh, my other on uh, my other chair didn't work so well. Right. And 
I can operate this chair with my computer. Oh. And the nice, the nice feature that it has, if my cell phone dies, mm -hmm. there's a place to plug in a cord so I'm never without. Oh, right in your uh, chair. Yeah. Now, does this chair put you into a standing position? No, because I, because I have no kneecap. I can't. Oh, okay. Stand. My right kneecap is gone. How are your feet feeling? Everything doing okay? Yes. Okay. So just the nails today? Yeah. Okay. I'd be calling you in a heartbeat if something was wrong. Well, how have you been? <laughs> uh oh. Well, you know, with my whole seizure business, it's crazy. No, have you been having seizures? Well, not since, not since they put me on medication, but. Knock on wood. Yeah. So at least they get a break somewhere. I need to give you all my medication updates so okay. you have it. What have you been doing to keep yourself busy? Well, to tell you the truth, for right now, I can't go any anywhere myself to like, make sure. Knock on wood. Like I said, I haven't had any any seizures since they. I haven't had any. Since since July, but what's interesting, like my EEG came back. The doctor just called me mm -hmm. this afternoon. They couldn't find anything on my brain. Hmm. Well, that's good news, I guess. I guess. So I just don't quite understand it, but. So right now I can't go I can't go anywhere by myself. Just cause they wanna make sure I'm stable for a bit. Now in the new the house that you're in, not a new one anymore. Yeah. Are you able I mean before the seizures, could you just take off and go tootling around the neighborhood for a little bit? Yes. It's it's a safe area? Yeah. The only thing is the street that I live on is mm -hmm. extremely busy. Right. And it goes multiple directions, and it's still called Louisiana. I tell you, they fly, they fly by. Mm -hmm. it's like, and I would assume the crosswalks they don't notice know. and stop for you. Nope. They're not even. There's only one crosswalk uh, before you exit, and one area before you turn on it. But there should be, there should be more. It's a. It's actually very dangerous. Yeah. Well, what if you stay on your side of the street? Yeah, I do. Can you go up and down? Yeah, I do. Around? Yeah. But you haven't since July then. Right. And one of, one of my favorite staff, she, she'll, let, she'll let me go, go around the block and, and not say anything. Of course, I won't go, I won't go any further than that, but Will any of them go with you? Well, they can't because because this company only has one one staff on ship. The whole time. each ship there's only there's only one staff. So one person. Yeah, and that's another thing I don't like. All right. Yeah. So what's happening with finding a different place? Well, I'm gonna ha remind my my worker at the end of this month because she. She just came back from vacation, like, on Memorial Day, so. Labor Day? Yep. Couple push, push, push. Yeah, I can't push. I Thank you for putting ocean on my feet. That feels so good. You're very welcome. I always have to remind my staff to put lotion on my feet. Okay, so this is a compression sock, huh? Yeah. Are they still leaving you in bed till 11 o'clock every day? <laughs> it depends on who's working. I'm not, I like the, the lady, she's brand new. She just started, mm -hmm. so I understand. 
but I was literally in my chair by 10 o'clock. That's, that's actually better. This morning? Than, yeah. Wow. And today was her first time getting me up by herself without having somebody stand there. I could help her and she all directions very well. well. And she doesn't know yet that she's supposed to act very lazy, right? Right. And she wasn't she wasn't on her phone one bit. Other staff, they're constantly on their phone. Like I had to tell one staff, don't be on your phone anymore in my room when you're doing my cares. It's totally inappropriate. Yeah, then you get labeled the bad guy. Oh well. <laughs> but actually, me. I pulled her aside and, and said that, and she understands. Because I'm like, people can hear on the other end what, what I'm asking you to do. And I said, it's totally unprofessional and not okay. You're right. Well, thank you for letting us do the video. You're welcome. Did you want to say anything to the camera? You want your face on it? You want to be on, on yeah. YouTube? Okay. Now, does that headrest keep your head from tipping? No, but you know, you know what I have, mm -hmm. but I didn't bring it today because I didn't want it, it to get caught. I have one of those things that goes around my neck. It's like a pillow, but it's it's like in a U shape. Okay. And okay. you snap it. All right. So whatever you'd like to say to the camera. Twin Cities Foot and Ankle Clinic takes great care of me. So I recommend if you need foot care that, that you come to this clinic. They do an awesome job. Your check's in the mail. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks.